So many Democrats and Republicans have now voted to suspend the U.S. debt limit in a new vote. So folks, a government shutdown could also lead to no more Social Security benefits. So in today's video, I will be bringing you up to date on the latest stimulus check information, as well as all the news surrounding your Social Security benefits. So you want to be sure to stay until the end of this video, folks. You think I'm going to talk to you about my conversations with Joe Manchin in here? If you promise not to tell anyone. Or... <laughs> Look, I think that Joe Manchin is a great member of, Congress, of the Senate. We're friends. We're Italian Americans. We, you know, we, we get along. Catholic. We have shared values. I have enormous respect for him. I had uh, one of the joys of my service in Congress was to work with him to make sure we had the health benefits and the pension benefits for our mine workers. Not that I think clean coal is anything but, an, you know, well, nonetheless about that. But I do believe in the workers, their needs, and the rest. And we did that at the end of last year, working together. So uh, we have our, our common ground. Well, we're talking about substance. We're not talking about rhetoric, and we're not even talking about dollars. We're talking about what is important in the legislation. Where can we find our common ground? Uh, if I paid attention to everybody's public statements, oh, my goodness. Even some that maybe you inadvertently make that are not quite on point. Uh, but uh, he said some other things after that, that said, I'm for reconciliation. Promise is what's made the United States the leading economy in the world for so long, benefiting countless millions of families. So when we talk about extending the debt limit, that is what is at stake. All week long, Senate Democrats presented our Republican colleagues with reasonable proposals to prevent a default from happening. We offered to hold a simple majority vote so Democrats could fix the debt, sealing ourselves. They rejected that offer. We're not even asking to vote Republicans to vote yes, even though we know they should. But instead, just to get out of the way, just get out of the way and let us keep America's, America's faith and credit, and let us keep the faith and credit in America's finances intact. Unfortunately, Republicans spent the weeks solidifying themselves as the party of default, the party that says America doesn't pay its bills, the party that would send our economy into unknown and dangerous territory. On Monday, Republicans unanimously blocked a measure that would have funded the government and raised the debt ceiling. On Tuesday, the Republican leader blocked a proposal to raise the debt ceiling with only Democratic votes, exactly what Republicans insisted they wanted from the start. By Wednesday, it was clear that Republicans were committed not only to voting in favor of default, but even preventing Democrats from solving this, prop, this crisis on our own. Every day that Republicans continue their cynical obstruction. And now there's a change. .org petition with nearly 3 million signatures, demanding $2,000 payments for all Americans, folks. Everybody, let's get into the most important stimulus check information. Here's what you have to know. Now, do you believe that President Biden is going to do what he takes? Is going to keep his promise to the American people and send out the fourth stimulus check? Tell me, folks, in the comments below if you think that he will. As part of the American Rescue Plan stimulus relief bill, states were allowed to have $200 billion to spend towards their economic recovery from the crisis. Now, states have until the end of this year to give their money out, where they feel their states need it the most. Some states, everybody, are actually handing out their own state stimulus checks. But has your state done this? Have you received a stimulus check, everybody, from your own state? Tell me in the comments below. Everybody in the state of Texas, they have not confirmed a statewide retention bonus, but certain districts are doing their part for teachers. Fort Worth and Arlington will increase pay by 4% for all district employees. Some counties are giving their teachers a 2% raise in payments, and employees can also receive a $500 bonus and a $2,000 stimulus check when they return to work. So two Democrats and one Republican crossed their parties in the House for a vote to suspend the country's debt limit. And that's as tensions run high on both sides of the aisle, with less than a month to go until the nation is expected default on its debt. Representatives Kurt Schrader and Jared Golden have changed party lines on Wednesday when they joined Republicans in voting no on legislation to suspend the nation's debt limit. On the opposite side of the aisle, Representative Adam Kinnizer. Representative Adam was the only Republican to vote to send a measure to the Senate. Now this legislation, advanced by a thin 219 to 212 vote, and also faces shaky odds in the Senate, as GOP leadership has urged its members to take the measure in the upper chamber. Earlier this week, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen 
warned congressional leaders of both parties that Congress has until October 18th to raise or suspend or suspend the nation's debt limit before the country is expected to default on the national debt. But everybody, the Republican leadership has been calling on their members to vote against raising the debt ceiling and high-stakes standoff with Democrats. The push by Republicans comes in opposition to a multi-trillion dollar social safety net package. And, that's the, and the party aims to pass it using reconciliation. And that will allow them to bypass the Senate GOP filibuster. Republicans want Democrats to address that limit by themselves, using that same process. But disagreements remain between party leaders over how much time the maneuver could take, ahead of the looming deadline. And Democratic leaders have called it a non-starter. In recent days, Democrats have also tried to tackle the debt limit through a continuing resolution to fund the government, ahead of a Thursday deadline to avert a government shutdown. Now, Senate Republicans blocked an effort by Democrats to do just that earlier this week. Republicans are similarly expected to block the legislation advanced by the House on Wednesday, which would suspend the nation's debt limit until the end of the next year. So the likely outcome appeared to be a source of contention for a small group of moderates who threatened to vote against the bill on Wednesday, citing concerns that the vote would just be for show. Nancy Pelosi also scolded moderates who threatened to vote against the bill hours before the vote. What we've seen from the Democrats this week, dysfunction, delusion, and deception. This all might help sell papers, but it doesn't help the country one bit. An ineffective government helps no one. A failure in leadership helps no one. As the results have shown, it makes things worse. Our country is in a crisis. We have a border crisis. There has been over 1.5 million illegal border crossings so far under President Biden. Small towns at our southern border are overwhelmed by migrants. And a record amount of fentanyl is pouring into our country. Our border patrol is desperate for support. We have an inflation crisis. Americans today are paying more for everyday items than they have in over a decade. More to get to work or drive kids to practice. Businesses are paying more for the materials they need to operate. This all means higher prices for consumers and less money in your pocket. It is a tax on every single American. Then we have a labor crisis created by the Democrats. Small and local business owners can't find workers. For the workers that now show up, your government is paying others more to stay home. On the screens behind me are the stories that show just how destructive these policies are. We have a China crisis 